the field check star. And so, let's, 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 let's stop stalling. Number 10. Who y'all putting at number 10? <sighs> man. I mean, man, I, I feel like when you read the nominees out, man, I feel like my heart is just is wrenching inside because I'm. I feel like there's so many people I wanted to I got be on my list. But Go ahead. I ain't shy. I got Cannon at number ten. Cannon, yeah, at number ten. Why is Cannon at number ten? Honestly, you put me on to him with the La Falans. You you like previewed him uh-huh. before a La Falan video. And I was like, yo, he's good. So I yeah. started listening to more of his stuff, and I thought he was pretty good. So I don't think he's done enough yet that, I, that I've heard yeah. to get him higher on the list. But I think he deserves to be on the list just for a skill. Gotcha. Skill-wise, he's good. So he reckoned the mind. No, he's actually a good. He's very good. Like, I, I'm, I can't wait till we do our line for line with Cannon because Cannon is good. And Cannon, he also is, he represents that Reflect Music group, which is he's, um, actually, he's pro's artist. So Pro has his own label and he's on Pro's label, but he's been torn with Lecrae. He's been hype man for Lecrae, but he's real good, man. I, I like him I, a I lot. Really, I really think so. So anybody else that we think could be on at number ten? What did you have, Ryan Righteous? Ah, man, I put the truth at number ten. Woo, the yeah. truth. Yeah. The truth was number ten. Okay, why was the truth number ten? Well, I mean, I like the way that you know he came back out with a significant album, you know, after his hiatus. Um, but I still was kind of like reaching for the cats that were doing things in 2010, and it spilled over into 2011. So that's why I have him at number ten. He is okay. significant for the for the movement, for the um, popularity of of the industry, but he's at number ten for me. Okay, okay. I got the truth higher on my list. Yeah, the truth is. Don't higher don't forget. On. Don't forget. The truth is is nice. Yeah, <laughs> I know he's been gone, and you know whatever, or however you feel. But yeah, he's nice. Yeah, he is. Let's just say that he is. He's, what you he's, got? What you got, got at ten, man? <sighs> I had Susie Rock at ten, man. Susie Rock. And I, I'll tell you this, man. The reason why I put Susie Rock on, I she still be killing stuff, man. She's on that the high society. I mean, that came out this year, but I heard some stuff last year, some snippets they had, and some stuff they released. Um, she's just been killing stuff. She's on all the stuff for Reach majority of the time. She's on the Truth album. Um, everything I hear, she just she goes in, in my opinion. So I had that at number 10. So I will admit, I did see Susie Rock on a lot when I was doing my homework. Yeah. Although I wanted to put her on, I still felt like, I mean, I I did I did have her on my list to be honest with you. Yeah. But she 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 moved down just because I felt like it was other projects that I was really feeling. I mean, this is all about you know not necessarily what they're doing in the industry um, and the, the different categories that we yeah. vote in. It's also according to our likability. So yeah. you know. All right. Well, let's do this then. Let's do. Let's put um Cannon at. Let's put Susie. <laughs> <laughs> Let's put Susie at ten. Yeah. Cannon at nine. All right. And the truth at eight. Let's see if we we need to swap that around. A okay. Bit. All right. What's so, what's so funny is I had Cannon in somewhere in there. All right. So my number nine was Shaolin. Shaolin came out with a good album. People still love Shaolin to this day. They love him. They love Shaolin. And I can see why Shaolin came out with an incredible album called The Attributes of God. That was my number nine. Who was y'all number nine is? I had... Well, the truth was my number nine. Okay. So I don't have any objections to that. I would I would think, though, that... I don't know. If he doesn't make our list, because Shaolin wasn't on my list, he may have to go beneath Suzy Rock, okay. in my opinion. Okay. Where did you have Shaolin? I did, and um, and I, I put him on my list because of his um, because of his style. Uh-huh. I thought it was different. Mm-hmm. I thought it wasn't like the rest of the the the, the, the Christian hip hop that I'm hearing guys spit. So yeah, he came in on my list as number eight. But, okay. Um, uh, my number nine was Thizzle. Ooh. All right, let me go up, homie. Okay, Thizzle. Go up. I got Thizzle up a little bit. And the reason why I got Thizzle up, I'm going to tell you this. Thizzle released a video called um, I Hate You. And what he's talking about his former life as a drug dealer and selling crack. And it was the most explicit Christian rap video, but it was a good. And it got on major websites. It got on, uh, it got on like World Star. It got on 
on hip hop. So to me, he's up there. I got this up there a little bit. So okay. I so that's that, that that that's the impact of the coach. There. That's what I was saying. So so what if we, so all right. So what is so far? What do we have at number ten? Um. Okay. So okay. Let's go back through. So Susie, we had Susie. At ten last time, yeah, we had Cannon at nine, mm-hmm. and we put the truth at eight. Yeah. So now is Shaolin better than the truth? Hmm. You gonna put him above the truth? Uh, I don't know, man. I think I, I like I love the truth. The truth is my, one of my favorites. Um, he will, he's man, that dude's incredible. Um, I don't. I don't think. I think. I hate to say this, but we have to bump Susie. Oh, oh. and it's not a man oh. thing. It's just, man. I, mean, I, I really want her that. on here, man. <laughs> no, no, because I think at times people would be like, oh, it's a, uh, a sex thing, because she's like one of the female rappers right now, holding it down for the ladies. And I think you leave Christian her on, rap. And I think you leave her on the list just for that. But okay, I think you leave well, her on the list. Right now, that. she's beneath Cannon. So you gotta give her her. You gotta give her props for being holding it down for yeah. her. But wait, but would you put her above the Truth or Cannon or Shylin? No, so I mean she's still a number ten, 10 if yeah. she makes my list. Well, we, she got to stay beneath Cannon then. And if if she ends up still number ten, then she'll be number ten. But if she's not, then she's not. Okay. Okay. That makes sense. All What's right. next? Who you had next on your list? All right, so um, um, at number, what number we got it? Just who's next? Uh, at my number seven, and yeah, um, I had mouthpiece. Mm, I had mouthpiece a little further up. Me too. You know what I mean? Mm. He came out with three albums this year. One album was free, which was a hot album. He came out with bass. He came out with. Um, no great lines. So, yeah. but the reason why I had so someone um, a few more people over him was because they did some 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 more stuff more than yeah. Him. But remember the reach effect. Yeah, did they benefit from the reach effect? Well, the people that I got in front of them, maybe like two people was from Reach Records. Wow, wow! Like I had the truth at number six, and then Mouthpiece was at number seven. We gonna have to debate that. We're going to have to debate that because I had him a lot higher. Um, my next one was uh, Andy Mania. Okay. I like I like him. I mean, I don't know if he did a lot compared to other well, people. Well, he, he did that mixtape. He did I, a mixtape this last year that the, the joint, the arrow. The, the funny thing about him is when we did the line for line for him, all that stuff was his mixtape stuff. That wasn't that wasn't just like previous stuff. And then also he killed some verses on a 116 compilation album. Okay. So... Where would you put, um, where would you put Andy Mineo? Did he make y'all list? Andy did make my list, but I, I, I felt like I had the reach effect going too much. And, that, and that's and another that's the thing, problem. too, Honestly, because, not, not cutting you off, but mm-hmm. I was looking at it like, how could we be fair? If reach records are involved, this could be a little bit better. Yeah. But since they have so many MCs that are bringing out quality music, right. that are doing good stuff, yeah. it's hard because easily they have like at least six people on a squad that can fit on a list. You know, you know what, what I was, easily. You know, when I was driving over, I was thinking, if I had to do this list again and I would be serious, I would leave reach records off. And, mm. and I'm saying like put them in their own category. Like nah. we appreciate everything, but you the, do. the thing is about Reach that. is they're still individual artists. Well, too. that's what I mean. That's what I mean. That's that's the only thing you can't really. Just, yeah, you, I mean because re- literally, Reach Records. When I looked at my list, when I looked at my my stars on my my grading chart, and I got to put my grading chart up online so y'all can see it. Um, when I looked at my stars, they were like one through six. Yeah, you know, I mean, it not and and, it, and it, the sad thing is, it's not it's not fair. It's not their fault. But no, it's, not it's not fair for to try to do this, and with you can't put them other artists. with other artists too. Yeah, that's okay. why I said okay. they would be on their own list for me. Yeah. All right. So where would you put Andy Manio, Jeremiah? Between what we got so far, um, he would be below somebody. Um, I don't think so though. Like, would he be above mouthpiece? 
I think he no nah, mouthpiece. No nah, mouthpiece need to be upper. Would he be above Shaolin? No. The true? No. So Cannon. He's come, he's come, I think he could be above Cannon. Wow. So he's coming off the well, he's not coming off the list. Okay. Yeah, he's coming off that's knocking Somebody, Susie. Susie knocking off the list. Ooh. Come on. And, yeah, I know, man. It's hard, man. I, I know. But you got to be honest. Like, if if, if somebody is that's cons- why I said, better than her, she can't just make it just because no, she's I know that. Good. But I'm saying that's why I said the Reach Records, like, whole thing. She be benefits in from that, category. too, though. Susie Wright benefits from the Reach effect, too. All right. <laughs> the what's the, okay, let's, let's, what's the Reach effect? Just because they're, they're like, they're so popular. Like, uh, anybody who's associated with LaCrae. Yeah. Will get a lot more listens yeah. just because they're associated. Yeah. Yeah. Same thing happens with Wayne. Like yeah. half of the artists on Young Money aren't good at all. Yeah. But they get more listens because of Wayne. Yeah. So yeah. I don't know. I just think that needs to be factored in yeah. just to make it fair for people who are kind of coming from obscurity. Yeah. But they're just as good. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So and then you know we're also trying to put the message out there that you know we're trying to get people to give these other artists more of a chance, more yeah. listens. You know, purchase their music. But to be more. honest with you, then if that's the case, Cannon does too. Canon benefits from the reach effect. Well, that's why I said reach could have their own list. I mean, they could nah, be in their own. Do, we can't do that. But that's I just, I just feel like you, I just feel like you just put them. I don't know. I mean, if they th- deserve it. They I'm deserve it. Them, yeah, that's I mean. what I'm saying. I'm giving them their props by saying they wouldn't be on my top ten list. They would be above my top ten. Yeah. Almost. And you this ain't man? the Scrubs list, though. We got to yeah. come up with the best ten artists. Yeah, I know. I know. All right, I who's just, next, man? Who's next? Right. Um. Well, I had the truth at number six, but since we got them on there already, and next I'm, I had victory at number five. What did Victory what do last year? What number are we on? It doesn't matter. Okay. <laughs> what, Vic- what did Victory do last year? Well, Victory last year, he had one. He was, he came out with an album. He came out with an album last year. It was, it was a good album. He charted in the hip-hop and rap section. Okay. He also was nominated for a Stella Award. Well, it was this year, but his nomination for it last yeah. year. Yeah. So, I mean, he's, he's an entrepreneur. He's doing his thing. So... So and, you, and he's wrecking the mic. He's a good rapper. Like yeah, you can't is. knock. Yeah, you can't knock is. Where you got him, Ryan Righteous? Did, did he make it? He didn't make it. He didn't make mine either. He didn't. I make mean, the, he he was on my. If you look at my homework, he's on the top of my charts. He got stars and likes uh-huh. and everything. But again, honestly, the reach thing. Uh huh. You know, I couldn't couldn't get everybody on. Gotcha. So who did y'all put at number six? I guess my next artist was Jen. Yeah, mom was Jen. Okay. Mom was Jen. Okay. Jen. So, but where would you put Victory then? You still want Victory to be above Jen and Mouthpiece and Shaolin and the um, truth? Where are we moving this? I don't know, man. I, I know. mean, go ahead and say what that. Would what would you, you put said Jen? You gave him good significance for I'm it. just, I, I'm not worried about the order yet. I yeah. just want to get okay. the best in order and then we find out what the first 10 is. Okay. Gotcha. Um, what did you just say? Uh, I was talking about, um, you know, yeah, definitely give it to Victory because of his uh, his his stellar awards. You and know, a, and, a, and the thing, an, another thing too is, Victory is by himself. Victory, he has no, I mean, yeah. he, he doesn't. He's not. I mean, he's a. He's not. He has his own label. Not associated. with He's not associated like with nobody. You know what I'm saying? Like he is still doing his thing, and he's put out some classic material. I agree. So, um. I agree. I we're like we're going to have to do some uh, comparisons in a second to filter this down a little bit okay. better. But who's next? Who you got next on your list? Um, At number four, I had Tadashi on my list. Why are we at different numbers? It like, doesn't matter because okay. we just got to get them in the order of the best and then figure out what the one through ten is. Yeah. All right. Um, next on my list was Bizzle. Biz. I had, I, I had Tadashi lower. Had okay. You had him higher, you mean? Lower, yeah, yeah, lower on you my list. Closer than closer to like the eight nine level. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But you got to look at another thing yeah, for him his, too. His, his record was his big. album was hot. He had yeah, a hot album. That's Ooh. why that that's dumb why dumb is crazy. That dumb dumb is a, one of the big ones on our charts well, too. I, I agree. I, looking at who's beneath him on my list so far, I would agree. Tadashi should be next. So based off of success from last year, I'll agree with that. And but then again, dumb dumb man, like that's Lecrae. But mm. I, I see what you mean. But also, the record in itself was good. Like the it Black was a Light, good record. the Black Light good. album is a, an incredible album. 
That's yeah. true. You know That's what I'm true. saying? I but I, I can see what you mean because some of the records that I heard off of it, some of them were okay and some of them were good. But the joints that with Lecrae, Dushan on the project, yeah. Dumb yeah. Dumb is an incredible. Like I said, it's, it's an incredible really record. It's, it's a really strong and it's, record. And it's been on our top seven yeah. for a while. Yeah, for a long time. Okay, well then if Tadashi's there, the next person got to be Thizzle. Yeah, I had Thizzle at number three. He got to be. Thizzle gotta is, be. what do you have at number three? I mean, I'm not even but that far up my list. But so. who's next on your list? Who's the next highest above where we are right now? Okay, Mouthpiece. Okay. So we already have him. Who's next? Uh, Trip. Triple E. Where you got Triple E? Now, you got to explain why. Okay. Really, when you look at like what what Reach Records has has been an influence on is their ability to also know and study the gospel. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like Flame going off. I mean, even though he's not with Reach like that, Flame going off and doing his thing in seminary, um, Trip doing his. I mean, being able to step down because you want to get more like Christ, you want to find out more, study more. Mm-hmm. I think that is a big significant part of the industry. So you're giving them credit for stepping away to follow. Oh yeah, I'm, God. I'm giving them credit to step for stepping away to so, follow God and be more and be better at what He's doing. That's kind of like went my phone, y'all. No more for my list. I'm just kidding. We <laughs> that's that's kind of like uh, Peyton Manning winning the MVP because because the Colts were horrible this year. Without <laughs> but you got to also look at it. Trip is a very big influence in this industry. So where he doesn't, where he doesn't get votes for uh, commitment or, or contribution to the industry, he gets votes for popularity. He gets votes for the influence. That's like, Peyton Manning all day. That's the same. I mean, that <laughs> might be, but I mean, you know, Peyton Manning didn't but step this, away but, for a greater good. But this is this is my thing. I think Triple E is one of the best artists we've ever had on our radio show. Yeah. But I think because he stepped down, it gives somebody else an opportunity to make the list. And it's I like Lil Wayne good... going to jail. Like when Wayne no, went to no, jail, I mean, like I mean, on, on on the MTV joint, when yeah. Wayne went to jail, he stepped down. So <laughs> he dropped down because, no, but I mean that, I think, because he didn't have impact like he had when he was doing his thing. No, but I mean, I, I, I think, think, the, I think yeah. that's an honor, though. Like yeah. the fact that the only reason he's not high on the list is because he purposefully step down yeah that should give somebody else that's on the come up a chance to be on the list but when yeah. you think about the gospel and what it means to and what the whole purpose of spreading the message of jesus christ is about yeah but this ain't stepping the, down this ain't the 10 hottest christians of all time like this is christian but i mean but think influence. about but think I'm, about it influential i'm willing to he bet. decided to say remember we had another thing called impact for the genre, meaning they're doing their things to make people make the gospel known in the world. So he decided, hey, as a rapper, yeah. I decided to step away to put the mic down so I can better myself, so I can get prepared to be a pastor, yes. which he really wanted us to do. Yes. So that's impacting. That's, that's an impact that's, situation. I mean, that's come on, we've great. interviewed Trip before, and that's what that's and, what and, his heart. My interview with him is on is on our YouTube page, yeah. and that's exactly what I asked him. He seems so focused on God, but I think if we did a humanitarian award, that would be awesome. But like, <laughs> I think I think this list, I think he would be honored to say, you know what, I took some time off. Let a mouthpiece get higher on the list. Let let a cannon make the list because right. I didn't do nothing. All right. last so year. let's say this: if you take off Trip. Does that make uh, my personal that thing, puts but, but back thing, on the list? But another thing is this. He sacrificed Trip him? Trip Trip Lee. He did come out with some material though. Two, he came out with a record. Right? He two came out with a single called Brag on My Lord. It which was, we we, we played we played that here too. So another thing is this, man. Um you gotta look at it from a standpoint like even though he's gone. He's still one of the hottest MCs yeah, in the game. And, yeah, and he, it has and he to be left for a better reason. But he came out. He didn't come out with an album, but he came out with but two, a two his, song joint. His two con- two song contributions. Was it more significant than what Mouthpiece did last year? Or Shylin or The Truth? Yeah, I see what you mean. That's what I'm saying. Like, I mean, let somebody I, to, else to, to me, if he's on a list, and I'll be honest with you, if he's on a list, he's going to be way down. Who he is, may who? be may, he may may would be, he be higher nine than Suzy. Would he be higher than Suzy Rock? I can't. I don't know. See, that's a hard <laughs> one. Cause see, to me, Suzy Rock put in a lot of work last year. So man. would he be, would he be higher? Than, would he be right under Suzy Rock? I think he would be. <sighs> would he be right under Cannon? He would be near Cannon. Okay. Wow. He would be near Cannon. Wow. And it's not and it's not because he didn't do it. It's just. Yeah. 
I'm, I'm just I'm just letting you know we gotta iron this list out because Cypher you may want somebody to be at number ten, but yeah. if there's twelve people above him, it's not gonna be number ten. Yeah, just can't. Discipleship gets who's <laughs> next. <laughs> I, I, I had Bizzle next on my list. Bizzle was like so. That's like I had just Bizzle. because his album came out last year. I thought it was really good. Yeah. Well, I mean, another thing too about Bizzle is, um, I heard some people said some of the mixtape stuff that he put out was like original joints. He compiled to an album. And I think that's fine. Which, which is good. Another thing is he also did that um, No Church in a Wild remix. And he was, of course, doing what he yeah. does best. So he was at my number two, too. At the end of the day, I think Bizzle, he's, he's a good rapper. Yeah. So to me, the significance, he the impact he made last year, plus the fact that he's a good rapper. Yeah. I think he needs to be up on this list. Yeah. Um, but now we're running out of room. Yeah. So who's next? I mean, my phone died, so thanks, Android. I don't know who's next. <laughs> my my <laughs> my next is Pro. Pro. Yes, Pro was my next. Pro You're impressed right. me a lot. Pro. Okay, with the stuff yeah. I've heard, especially in the line for line he did. Yeah, I thought that was excellent. I yeah. was very, I was very impressed with Pro. Pro didn't make my list. Dang. What? Only reason why he didn't make my list was this, and I like Pro. Like, um. It's funny that I have his his boy on there with Cannon, but he just didn't make my list. I mean, and that's another thing is, it's so many people, man. That's like, this genre is. is so big. That's well, t- what it tell is. Tell us what Pro did last year. Pro came out with his album. Um, he came out with the, um, what's the name of his joint? Uh, uh, um, Dying to Live. Um it's a good album. Um, Great promotion. For good that. promotion. You, you were happy with his promotion. His promotion was game. real good. Yeah, it was a yeah. Genesis, like, throwback game. Um, that's what I show. I like. Okay, Reach Records got dope, but that's a sidebar. Um, <laughs> so, you know, just the thing, the promotional things. I mean, he just did a good a job. You didn't like the songs. The song to me when I, I mean the him. songs were good. Like he got some joints pr- produced by PKs, of course, all day, one day, um, um, all day, one day, all day, one day. <laughs> I know. Um, it was he just had, he has, he has good stuff, but it just. That's why I understand what he was saying earlier. Yeah. Like how it's hard to put everybody up on it. It doesn't yeah. matter. You can't put somebody like he should be number two. Who should it be above and below? That's Got all you to. need to worry about. And then the top, you count okay. one to ten. And then I mean, maybe, I put, maybe, maybe, maybe we, we do something. I don't know. I think uh, he's in the right place. Up top? Would you, yeah, would you a, say Pro's year was bigger than Bizzle's year last year? No. Would you say it was bigger than Thizzle's year last year? No. Tadashi's year? I agree with you so far. I'm stuck right there. What about Jen? I would I would say Pro might fit between Tadashi because Tadashi's record was really big. Yeah, it was yeah. Really, I would say Pro should be maybe above a Jen. I can see that. Yeah. So let's that. do that. Bam. Hey, I'm glad you're able to keep your math going over there. I'm looking at arrows. Okay. L- like- l- okay. Did you have anybody else besides who I think is your number one? Did you have anybody else in between there? No. Did you have anybody else? Nope. Okay, now we not we need to sort this out before we say who number one is. Yeah. Okay. So, all right. So let me count. What about your boy Brinson? We talked about in the car. Brinson, yeah, man. Brinson did something he good. Made, he made it yeah. the ESPN. ESPN. He made it the ESPN. Yeah. He that's spreading the gospel, talking about um, Tim Tebow and the song. He came out with a, a good album. You know, I only had ten slots on my list. Yeah. And that, yeah, that's what I'm saying. So that's the thing, man. There's so many hard. good. There's there's getting to be more and more great artists in this industry, yeah. man. Like now we have to rank it on. This is almost like the BCS, right? Like, <laughs> you gotta, right. You got to <laughs> rank off of your history plus yeah. what you did last. Ah, okay. Well, let me do this. This is what we have right now. We have Bizzle, then Thizzle, then Tadashi, then Pro, then Jin, then Victory, then Mouthpiece, then Shaolin, the Truth. Andy Manillo, Cannon, Triple E, then Susie Rock. Does that Ooh. sound like the right order? Does anybody need to be flipped? How many people is that so far? It don't matter. Don't worry about the okay. order. Don't worry about the numbers yet. Just make sure the order is accurate. I don't know, man. Dizzle, I the, could be honest with you. Anybody need to be Triple moved? E could be above Andy Manillo. I would, I would, I would agree with that. I, I, I like Andy Manio, and stop saying this. Hey, yeah, just say, so just much say mail. Andy. Just say Andy. You're gonna get Andy. so much mail because of that. <laughs> so you would move Triple above, below the, the truth. Yeah, I would say below the truth. That sounds, that sounds good. That sounds right. You would move who below the truth? Triple E. Triple E. 
I would Dang. say I would say that sounds right. So you you're saying that Cannon's year wasn't as good as Triple E's year. <sighs> that is a, this is going back to that discussion. <laughs> it, it honestly might not matter because it seems like there's a lot more people above all of them. Yeah. Okay, let's make sure the top of this list feels good. Okay. Bizzle, then Thizzle, then Tadashi, then Pro. Does that feel right? Mm. Mouthpiece can come up. I had mouthpiece at my number two. I had him at number four. <laughs> so I I'm mean, just saying. My, 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 my joint wasn't in stone. I'm going to lie. I didn't say, okay, this is like last year when I came up with my list, I was like, it's stone. Oh, I, yeah. I would say but this, this would year say this. was a different thing. If I was to move somebody around, I would put mouthpiece between Thizzle. No, no, and no. Thizzle. No, no, no. No, I got to be real. Thizzle? I would put Thizzle. I'll put mouthpiece between Tadashi and Jin. Reason being, Tadashi, I think, had a really big album, so I yeah. got to give him credit for that. But mouthpiece is is better than a well, lot of these lyricists on this yeah. list. He needs to move up. You know, he made my list, but let's talk about Jin. After, like, Jin may need to move down. I, I, I don't honestly know. Jin what? came up with, he came up with a, I think believe he came up with an album too. He did, came but up he came up with a free, he also came up with a free EP as well. Mm-hmm. And, it, and it was a quality EP. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you got to look at it I too. It, I think until Jin like really integrates himself with the community. Yeah. But he was on that record with Bizzle that we played on yeah, our yeah, yeah, yeah. Which was, which was That forgive me. But I think I would put Jin. I'll put Jen down. I would too. I'll move him I down. mean, I wouldn't put him between a thizzle and a bizzle. So he's not in your top five because that's what it looks like so yeah, far. Yeah, he wouldn't be. Okay, I, could, I agree with that. I agree with but that. But would Jen go above Shylin and the truth? Maybe. I'm gonna move. I'm gonna move him right above Shylin. <laughs> I would consider. And, then, and the reason I'm saying that, remember, we're not just talking about now. This ain't going to a point to wreck mics. We also talking about. Hold on, question. We also so, talking about yeah. just the impact. Remember when Jen came out and said, "Yo, oh, if you want to call what I'm doing Christian rap, you can call it that." How many people probably was like, "Wow, Jen is on the team." You know what I mean? That's a yeah, big move. Yeah, but I, I still think even though he's on the team, he's benefiting from something bigger than the reach effect. He's yeah. benefiting from the Rough Riders effect. <laughs> yeah, well, which exactly. Is really, really not fair. <laughs> yeah. So he okay. does need to move down. I got a question: Is mouthpiece above or below pro? He's above pro. So it looks like we took uh, D Mob off altogether. Oh, I forgot about D Mob. Yeah, he's not on. Ah, D Mob had a good album. This, this is starting to get solidified. Oh, that's why. My that's why I said. That's why Can I said. Can we put D Mob nope, up? Too late. That's why I said. Too late. Reach has got to be in the top too five on another late. list somewhere. Too late. D Mob is good. I really like D Mob. You, if you want to put him in, you got to sneak him in quick because it's starting to get solidified. If you redid this list. I would put D Mob above Shaolin personally. Okay. I would too. What wow. you think? I would. Yeah. What you think? It's up to you, man. <sighs> I would put him me. above. Yo, yo, I would put him me. above Shaolin. I, would. I can see that. But would you put him above but, the truth? Wow. Mm. I would. I, I don't know. I'm I would suspect. put the truth above Shaolin. But I mean, y'all seem to I like him, so saying. I don't know. I'm suspect about that. What Shaolin? Yeah. Okay. I would I would honestly go the truth, D Mob, Shaolin, Annie Maneo, Cannon, Susie Rock, or Triple E in there somewhere, and then Susie Rock. I can see that. Does that feel good? I can see that. I can see that. Mm, so 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 okay. So here we go. This is almost done. We almost done. I would say this. Um I'll put the truth at eight. Somebody can also talk about what we the person that we did every year. Because he came up with an album. <laughs> okay, Braille, okay. Braille came up with an album. A I, good I, did, album. I did think about Braille. Okay. Yeah, I did too. Oh, we're done. We're done. We're done? We're done. So really? now this is this is the thing. D Mob is currently our number ten artist. Okay. Does that feel good? That means he's beating out Shylin. Andy Manillo, Cannon, Susie Rock, and Triple E. Does anybody else Ooh. need to slide in the number 10 above D-Mop? Or does that feel good? Wait, 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 wait. So we just bumped all those other people off the they, list. They're off. They're Dang. just not making it. Oh, Cannon had a good year, man. <laughs> Dead. Cannon all right, had a man. Good year. We okay. Gotta, we got to make all a right, decision. Somebody, somebody make an argument for we the gotta, truth. We got to make a decision. Make an argument for the truth. He came. People were, I mean, people's, I think the thing about the truth is, some people say he came back too early. Some people say he came we, back, whatever. Did we give up on but him? But I think he ch- he charted. He was one person that charted. He came out with incredible music. You know what I mean? His album was a, a, quali- a quality Make a album. decision. Did he, did he benefit from any kind of effect? No. No. 
He, he sure had about to, he that. had to work from the jump. Yeah, because he it was almost like he was a whole new artist again. Yeah, yeah. But his his situation, like he, I mean, he just got he just got he got to deal with um Exist Music, which is Sean Simmons label. Which, but okay, like, I think this will this will decide Cannon or D Mob. Ooh, Cannon or D Mob, make a decision. I would say this. You would say which one? That's what you're saying. Cannon say, or D Mob. I like both since, of them. Since man. D Mob came out with an album, I would say album. I would, I would go with the album, album over mixtape. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we're we're done. All right. This is and I'm assuming what your number one is. I ain't gonna ask you okay. until the end. All yeah. right, here we go. This is our list. The hottest ten Christian MCs of two thousand eleven. This is this is the definitive truth. Nobody else is right <laughs> but us. All right, here we go. Number ten, D Mob. Okay. He snuck in. <laughs> he almost didn't make it. <laughs> number ten, D Mob. Number nine, the truth. Number uh, eight, Jen. Number seven, Victory. Number six, Pro. Number five, Mouthpiece. Number four, Tadashi. Number three, Thizzle. Number two, Bizzle. And our number one artist, once again, is Lecrae. Lecrae. Of course. What did Lecrae do this year, Jeremiah? Um, what did he not do? I mean, you know, I BT mean, Cipher. BT Cipher. That was that was so huge. I, was, I I I bet every Christian hip hop fan was watching that. Yeah, that was that was and, huge. Um, rehab, yeah. right? Was that, he did. He did. Um, rehab. Was that? 10, I think it was. 10, uh, 10, but he repackaged rehab. Yeah, right. He repackaged okay. rehab with a deluxe edition for um, what was just all both of them combined. Mm-hmm. Um, he was on Sunday's Best. He was on. He was on some some good places, man. The like, shady stuff. Yeah. Um, yeah. The, the uh, oh yeah the yeah col- yeah. Collaboration. DJ um, Static Selector. Yeah. He was one of out of everybody. They decided to go with him first for the single that's, for their album big. off of a mixtape full of other cats like Big Grid. I think Big Grid, um, Kendrick Lamar, some other cats that aren't come up and people know more than Lecrae in the yeah. secular world. So. People are really looking into Lecrae, man. Like, they're looking at him like, boom. My only thing about this is this. Is, is, <laughs> would y'all say this? I love Lecrae. I think Lecrae is an incredible yeah, artist. I love Lecrae. Will he yeah. ever get knocked down? Yeah, he I, could. He could. I don't think he so. Because to me right now, I think he's, he's the lead. franchise. It's, he's he it's is. three years in a row he's been top of our list. Well, no, we've only no. done it twice. <laughs> yeah, we did Wait, it. What? We did it three. This would be the third time we've done it. This is the have? third time. Yeah. yeah, 2010, 2011. Oh, I need to go back. We did 09. Two, uh, 09. 09. I remember was the truth. I don't even remember that. Oh, it's on. Oh, our yeah, website. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, yep. It's on our I'm website. Back. I'm back. I'm <laughs> back. Yeah. We back. Yeah, we back. yeah. I remember. Yeah. Okay. Truth and I'm in. Let's-